What's up, gang? So I hope you all survived Christmas, and now <laughs> here we are on New Year, pretty much, uh, a couple days away. And, you know, I don't do a whole lot of reviews of these sort of bone stock Ertl tractors, and I thought, you know, we ought to take a look at these, because especially the 620 quad track, uh, Ertl is, you know, th they've done a nice job on this tractor. There's a lot of detail here, not a lot of money involved, so... Um, you know, let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So this tractor is going to run you, let's call it 10 to 20 bucks, depending on where you buy it. Now, if you go to, um, if you go to like your farm and home supply, tractor supply or whatever, it's going to be on the higher end, probably at your dealer as well. It's going to be on the higher end. But if you go to a toy show, you can definitely get these, uh, like 10, 12 bucks in that neighborhood. <clears throat> so anyway, so like I said, this is the 620. Now I feel like uh, where this gets let down to some extent is uh, this decal, the 620 decal. You can just see it's just a it's just a sticker that they've stuck on there, and that always is a little disappointing to me. Uh, I'd like to see something a little more uh, realistic looking there, but um, that's a small detail. And I guess if I took um, if I if I grabbed a cat from Speccast, <clears throat> see how they do their decals? How there's not like this big overlap um, with the decal and not a, not a giant border and all that stuff. I feel like that, if Ertl could do that, that would really take this to the next level. Now, I don't want to knock too hard on Ertl here though, because this is a really nice tractor. So we get toolboxes up front here, and we do get some decent looking decals for the front of this tractor. Come on camera. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. Now that Case IH logo is very nice and crisp up front. Uh, and then of course we get a painted grill and then a decal for lights. We get the toolboxes on either side. If you want to remove those, it's uh, just some simple little screws in there. Uh, you can undo those, and that will come right off. <clears throat> then you can put maybe you can put weights or something like that up there. However, you wanted to do it. We get some decent decal uh, detail in the bogey wheels and drive wheels and all of that. Now these are the same uh, tracks that Ertl have been using forever on these tractors, and why? I mean, Case IH hasn't changed them, so why should Ertl? Um, you know, but in general, it's good. I like up here, we get lots of step grip. And that, I think that's a really simple but nice addition to this tractor. On top, we've got some grill de detail. And this one even has a little texture to it. This front, uh, you know, this front little thing there. Uh, nice big uh, intake on the side. And then <laughs> the giant exhaust on the, I guess, driver's side is what we would call that. Over here, now this is something I almost wish they wouldn't do. So they've kind of got like some simulated handrails here. And this just makes it harder to customize because you've got to cut those off and then you've got to paint and all that stuff so you can put some actual handrails on there. But that's okay. I mean, um, you got to give them credit for trying there. I love that they've painted this bottom step uh, black so that it's like the uh, rubber stepping so that, you know, if you're hitting stocks or whatever, this will move. I think that's a really nice touch. We get little steps here. So, again, if you're going to customize this, you just drill a couple holes and put a rail in on this side, and you'd be good to go. And then maybe a fuel cap up top, and you'd be good to go. So, uh, really cool, you know, really nice that they've done that. Uh, you can actually see some of the detail in here. You know, on a real quad track, when you turn, the ladder turns with you. That way it doesn't get into the tracks. Now, this doesn't do that, but it's got the arm and everything for that, so that's some nice detail. I think while we're here and we've got a look, let's check inside the cab. <sighs> Flat disc steering wheel. Come on, Ertl. You can do better. We've seen it before. You can do better. <laughs> now, this is the premium cab because you get the red leather seats in there. So, that's nice. Um, <clears throat> articulating joint detail is okay. Nothing fantastic there, but it's okay. So, we'll give them some good credit there, too. Moving around the back, this is where Ertl did a really nice job on this tractor, I think. One, really nice work lights. And then up top, oops, up top, we get nice work lights, too. Nice SMV sign. And then check this out. All your hydraulic outlets and a PTO shaft uh, with the shield and everything right there. So, really well done there from Ertl as well. Um, 
would love to see more of this on all of their tractors. That's that's just nicely done, and if you're going to customize, it's one less thing you've got to do. So uh, they painted the hitch black. Uh, I guess the real ones maybe are. I'm trying to think of ours. I think our 450 is, our 485 is red. I don't know, but anyway, that's nice. It's a little contrast there and all of that. So anyway, that's kind of a quick and dirty look at this uh Case IH 620 quad track from Ertl. Really nice little tractor there. Like I said, it's going to cost you in the neighborhood of 10 to 20 bucks, depending on where you're shopping. And uh, all in all, hey, why not? Um, pretty, uh, pretty cool little um, outfit here. So, all right, guys, that'll do it. Quick, short video today. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a happy new year.